Bob Feller Show, Program 26. Lou Gehrig was one of the great stars of baseball, but during his career, he played in a lineup with another great, Babe Ruth. So, as it would happen, Gehrig played in the shadow of the great Babe. Even when Lou had a great day, and he did on June 3rd, 1932, another story would overshadow his feats. But let's not get too far ahead of our story. The New York Yankees faced the old Philadelphia Athletics at Philadelphia, and it was one of those days when the pitchers should have stayed in bed. It just wasn't a day for pitchers. Gehrig started to slugfest with a home run with one teammate aboard in the first inning. But A's catcher Mickey Cochran, another all-time great star, evened the score at 2-2 with a homer and a bottom of the first. Gehrig was back at the plate in the third inning with one teammate on base. Lou picked out another fat one and headed into the stands. Another homer, and the Yankees had a 4-2 lead. But it didn't last long. The home side bounced back and knocked the Yankees starter out of the box with six big runs in the fourth inning to take an 8-4 lead. The Yankee power sent the A's pitcher to the showers as Earl Coombs and Babe Bruce smacked homers in the fifth. That brought Gary to the plate for the third time. Fans wondered when the bombing would stop, but it didn't stop with Gary. He picked out the first pitch and sent it deep into the stands. Three homers for the popular first baseman. Runs crossed the plate for both sides in the sixth inning. The scoreboard showed the A's ahead 10-9 as Yankee fans took their seventh inning stretch. Gary was one of the Yankee batters in the seventh. And a lot of fans shouted for Lou to smack another homer. He did. Now it was all even at 10-10. He had equaled a major league record for one game with his seventh inning blast. But would he get another chance to bat and set a major league mark of five homers in one game? The Yankees tallied two runs to take a 12-10 lead in the eighth inning. There was a possibility that Geary would get another crack at the ball. The Yankees exploded their power in the ninth. Tony Nazari hit a grand slam homer, and it was now 18-10. But the inning wasn't over. Geary got another chance at bat. In 60 seconds, we we'll back to find out how he fared. Lou waited for the first pitch and swung. It was a long blast, but would it be long enough? Philadelphia outfielder Al Simmons was off with a crack of the bat. At the last second, he jumped and grabbed the ball in front of the wall. A great catch had robbed Lou of a record-setting homer. But still, it was quite an effort. The Yanks won the game, and Geary got hit four home runs. But there's an ironic touch to our story. Instead of Geary's four home runs making big sport headlines, it was just another story. Why? Well, a man by the name of John McGraw made even bigger headlines. You see, this was a day that McGraw announced his resignation as manager of the New York Giants after 30 years. Yes, Lou Geary's great feats were always overshadowed, but baseball fans will never forget him. He was not only a great ball player, but a great American. Bob 